All right, well, here we are inside the trailer. I know I talked about it a little bit before, about the new trailer and everything. So here comes the rain. Hopefully it doesn't bother my video. Here we get closer. But what we've been doing is trying to figure out to minimize or maximize the space because it is a smaller trailer that I bought this time. Uh, so what I've been doing to the trailer is I put the new lights up in here, put four of these bad boys in here, and it just made it look like it's daylight in here. I don't know how good it comes out on the camera. But my next goal was to not bring a toolbox in here because when you're at the racetrack, there's, a, there's only so much you can do to the go-kart if you wreck it. So if you need more tools, you can probably borrow them or just use the ones you have. So I'm going to have very minimal tools in here for the racetrack. If I break and tear up that bad, I'll just pack up and go home. So what I'm trying to do is, is that if you turn around there, Kyle, you'll see that I have a generator box in the trailer, which takes up a lot of space up front. So I'm going to end up probably making a bed up there to where we can lay down and take a nap and sleep. And then turn around, Kyle. And as you turn around, I've got the go-karts on one side, and I wanted to be able, because remember my last trailer, you had the toolbox here, go-kart here, and you're always trying to shimmy to get by. So what, turn here, Kyle, what we've been working on is our prep table slash toolbox. This is going to have everything. This is getting boxed in, making cabinets, as soon as we get to that point. And then as you fold this table down, it'll turn into your prep table, and I'm going to have all of my tools in here that I think I should need at the go-kart. Tires in each, your 11 16 or 7 16 your, your half inch. Don't walk away, I'll tell you. you. You know, you got pretty much two of each to make adjustments on a go-kart. So you have two 7 16 two half inches, two 9 16 two 3 quarters, and then, you know, a good assortment of Allen wrenches. You need your quarter drive for the bottom for the go-kart. Just the motor. There's just so much, you know, your sockets for your lug nuts. That's about all you need. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure once I start piling it in here, once I have room, I'll, I'll add more to it. But that's my goal is the minimal. You know, I'll have uh, places for gas cans and motors. I'm going to build a motor stand in here somewhere as a motor rack. But this is what we've been working on the last couple of days is that this will fold up. Hide all this when you're driving down the road, you know, we'll put logs on it and legs and all that. But it's kind of like my last trailer, except what I'm actually doing this time is spending a little bit more time building it and making it look nice and actually planning it out. And this right here, this will be all your prep section right here. But you'll have all this to work on tires when you're at the track or, you know, clutches or whatever you got to do. You'll have a workbench incorporated in your toolbox and this the widest point of this right now so far is eight inches so but when i add the doors on it they'll probably give it you know eight and a quarter or we, once i put the doors on it the but that's it you know uh, that's what i've been working on i know i ain't been making a lot of videos but i've been doing a lot of other things and uh my work's getting ready to send me out of town, so I'm pretty much almost done racing for this year, I guess. So, I've got to do a couple more things. I'm going to, instead of using wood screws for the hinges on this side, I'm going to get bolts and put all the, put bolts and uh, lock nuts on them. I've got to grease this up, because I didn't buy one solid sheet of plywood, which I wish I would have. But, right now, that's it. Once I get the braces in it, it'll be, uh, it'll be able to lean on it. Catch you later.